Hello, my name is John Arbaez. And Liz Ross. Directors and founders of Salsa Mania Dance Company. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and do the second workshop. We worked on footwork and body, and body movement fundamentals, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is work on fundamentals in terms of body movement. Okay, again, a recap of the first workshop. When you shift your weight, you shift your weight back and forth at the very basic level, and your arms go in a position of movement. At the intermediate level, we no longer go back and forth. At the intermediate level, we do something called a figure eight. Once you start doing your figure eight, your arms move differently, as you could see, and I'll tell you the reason why. On the figure eight, it's very simple. Transfer your weight onto the ball of your foot, open your right hip, transfer your weight on the left, uh, ball of your foot, and open your hip. Transfer, open your hip, transfer and open hip. In salsa, we bend one leg and strain the other. One and three and five. So you create the figure eight right in front of you or horizontal legs ascending forward. And one and three and five and seven. The arm movement comes, uh, is, direct effect, is direct, is affected by your hips. Meaning, once your right hip, when you, once you transfer your hip, your weight to the right, your arm goes out, follows the same, goes in the same direction as your hip. But as, at the minute the hip goes back, your arm goes into a position. So it goes and out and in, follow opposition. Follow opposition and the same thing goes from the left hand side. So your arms move in that circular motion as opposed to your back and forth movement. This is at the very basic level. And again, once you do the figure eight, your arms move differently. More of a circular motion, not because you want to make circles, but because it's following the hip and it goes in opposition. Follow the hip and open the and position of movement. Then we have the torso. The torso goes side to side. However, once you transfer your weight, once let's say I put my weight on my left, that torso is going to follow the same direction as your hips that are aligned. So you're going to go in one, and three, and five, and seven. How do you know you're doing it right? Is where you could see my back, my chest, my back, my chest. So in one, and three, and five, and seven. I'm supposed to just moving your hips. You could tell I'm not using my torso whatsoever. But once I use my torso, I follow the same direction as the hips. So this is how the torso works. And finally, the third part of your basic body movement is your shoulders. Your shoulders in salsa, we roll our shoulders back. Now, how does it affect the arms? It's very simple. It raises your elbow higher and it breaks your wrist. Raises your elbow higher and it breaks your wrist. You cannot keep your wrist down in this position, but this is how you're gonna look like. You're gonna look very funny and weird. So that's why you want to let the shoulder take care of the softness of the wrist. For the ladies, and re relax your hands for the guys with slightly tugging your fingers. So when we put it all together, we started at the beginner level, then we enter into going to the intermediate level, shift of the weight, then we use our torso, and last but not least, we add the shoulder. There you go. And after that, there's your basic. One and two and three, four, five and six and seven, one and two and three, and five and six and seven. Another way to make sure you're doing it correctly, you go partner up, mirror match your partner. So we transfer in the way, left and right, right and left, and again, we're matching. Now from here, Liz and I, we're gonna use our torso to get close to each other. On the left hand side, you create a W shape on the left hand, on the right hand, my left hand side is a W shape, on my right hand side is a V. So a V and a W. The W is higher than the V. And one, and three, and five, and seven. That's how we know we're on the same page. As we dance, it's the same idea. That's why you create this sway. But of course, the movement is a lot smaller and compact because we're, one, we're dancing faster, and second, we're using more surface area. So this is the very basic uh, fundamentals in terms of your body movement. Okay, and again, you shift your weight on the upbeats and the fourth and the eighth, and your movement works, uh, is done in the upbeats and the fourth and the eighth. Here we go, seven. You shift, your arms move, then you step. Everything shifts, then you step. Your arms fully shift along with your step, I mean with this transfer of the weight, and then there's the five, and six, seven, and seven, eight. One, and. Two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. And that's the right count and that's the fundamentals. Now this is what we did in the four, five, six, seven, we went one, two, three, five, six, seven. 
and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, prep, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, then one, two, spiral, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, just a step up, four, six, seven, tap, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, base it, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Okay, that takes care of the second workshop again, fundamentals in terms of your body movement and that second footwork.